no, no, no. Uh-uh. Hey, hey. We just got the C-130 off the ramp. Y'all gonna put that there? Get rid of it. I want it gone. Get rid of it. That is where I run up planes. I'll tell you what's wrong with that plane right there. It's got one, two, three. It's got three engines. It lost an engine in flight. That's what's wrong with it. I wanna thank everyone for participating in this recent poll. It seems that a lot of people really like the fun finds and the annuals. But what I did find when I go through my metrics is that the younger crowd is really into the Toolbox Tuesday and the Toolbox Tour reviews that we've been doing. Um, so we're gonna try to keep those up because the whole point of this channel is to generate interest in that younger generation because there's a big age gap in AMPs right now. And we'll talk about that in a different video, but I do find that the younger crowd is more interested in that. This week was a little bit more of a boring week for me. I had a day off and then jet shades, so not a lot of good footage. And I know that the defect videos are really fun, but I may not be able to crank those out as consistently as some of the other videos that we do. And that's mainly because a lot of the planes that come in for annuals are in pretty good shape and there's really nothing that would be surprising or eye-opening you know i don't want to film a bunch of content on broken tenderman nuts and things like that but i do want to thank everybody for being engaged and participating in that poll it's really going to help us put out more content for you in the future so let's get into this week's kind of blog style weekend review and i want to thank everybody for watching Right, so I don't think that one really cares about. Three guys, one plane. Listen, I'm a lady. You're a good man, Rachel. Uh, you're, what are y'all doing? You're a good man, Rachel. What is this? It's a seat for a child in a 150. Oh, the only people who fly 150s are children. All right, come down. Okay, that's good, right there. If you don't call this a breaker bar, I don't know what to call it. So we've like crushed the fitting. Stupid Tempest no lube filter. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can stand on the wing. It says no step. Like that's the shortest person to do this. Well, you just have to get the filter. Okay. All right, ready? Yep, one, right, two, three. three. Okay. This is the second transient plane that's come in this month for an oil change with a Tempest snow loop filter that has been smoked on. I mean, just 135 foot pounds of torque, I guess. I don't know who's out there doing this, but please, please stop doing it. Um, we use Tempest no loop filters in the shop and we don't have any issues because we don't tighten them as much as humanly possible. I hate Tempest filters. I hate them a lot, but we got it out. Hey, with the what are you doing? Uh, a transponder cert and IFR cert. Why don't you have me do that? It requires math. It's for, yeah, you gotta be pretty smart. I can't even spell seams right. So we're in here trying to do optimeter testing certification and uh, we got a leak, pretty easy to find. Well, that might be one of the leaks, but we're gonna keep looking after we seal that one up. But uh, that's pretty common here on these 182s. That fitting is crooked because people don't wanna do it with a flashlight under me. There you go. So these bowls on the 182s are notorious for leaking. One, because they're kind of hard to get to, so they're hard to install, and so people kind of just don't do it well. And two, just because they're made out of horrible plastic. Hey man, you know them seats come out. But then I wouldn't have nowhere to rest my legs. So we're going back together with this 182 pedo static. This was uh, the culprit for the massive leak we found. Uh, so there's, the broken end and this is uh not exactly what the, the end's supposed to look like but there's supposed to be threads on the other side pipe threads instead of those would be at nylon uh b-nut threads but this side's supposed to have pipe threads that threads into a fitting that attaches to your firewall static port um 
this bottle itself is the um, sump for the static system. There's one on each side, co-pilot co and pilot. Um, this is the pilot side that broken off. Um, and it's super hard plastic, very brittle, normal for them to break. Not great design, but uh, that's the way it is. Uh, so we replaced it and certified it and we're about to send it. Progress on the Cirrus because I'm loading up because somebody has enough money where he wants me to come to him and do jet shades because he's too busy to come here for the jet shades. So I got to load this stupid plane up and then I got to get all this jet shades and I got to go over there and I got to stop what I'm doing. We are also doing a few avionics related stuff, avionics related things to this aircraft. So I'm going to load my tiny tool pack and I'll show you guys my loadout for like the bare minimum but we'll still get the job done so that's it taking the wear quarter inch set bit adapters so that'll be my screwdriver if i need a screwdriver taking three different nippets the excess cobra the baby cobra and the five inch pliers wrench three of the wear wrenches that'll grab a 12 point and a baby needle nose that I've actually used to safety something with. These are pretty good. That wear a quarter inch fits perfectly in this Maxpedition fanny pack that I will wear because I have no standards. I also keep this Leatherman in there. It's got a Phillips head, flat head and a knife. Cause you never know. So it'll hang out in there. All the Nipix and the Leatherman is there. I think it's the Leatherman free is the actual model. All the wear and the wear wrenches. And that's it. We ready to go. That's it. Weighs like eight pounds. As I'm loading up with this in my fanny pack, I do want to remind you guys, if you are in going to travel on an airplane, you're going to go do like a remote fix, tell the pilot how much weight you're throwing in there. Um, a couple years back, there was a helicopter crash because somebody loaded their full box in the back of a chopper. Didn't tell the pilot made it go down so those are cool looking trackers anyways just what i'm saying like uh communicate weight and balance is a real thing doesn't matter how big or small the aircraft is it does matter even if the pilot doesn't seem to care just let him know